My hair has never looked this good straight. Hey y'all, it's your girl Goldie Naps and welcome back to this episode of Vlogmas. Today is a really exciting day because I'm about to go get my first professional silk press. I don't know if it's just a me thing, but I didn't have my first like professional stylist experience until I was an adult. Because when I was younger, my mom would relax and press my hair. We would relax it every time I had new growth. We use that just for me, relaxer. And she would press it every Sunday night. So there was no need for me to go to a hair salon because my mom was doing my hair. And then when I was 19, I big chopped. And obviously after big chopping and going natural, like straightening my hair was not a priority. So it's not like I was going to find a stylist to silk press my hair. Um, I didn't straighten my hair for years after going natural. I think it was like four years I didn't straighten my hair. But after going natural was when I started having my first professional salon experiences because that's when I went to curly hairstylist to get my hair shaped. So with all that said, today is going to be the first time that anyone other than myself and my mother presses my hair. So I'm a little nervous because um, obviously like people have horror stories with stylists. I've never been to the stylist before. Um, I'm also going to somebody in like the Jackson Metro area. The last time, when I first moved to the South, I literally went from Jackson all the way to Atlanta to find a curly stylist because I couldn't find anyone in the area who cut hair that was my texture. And I don't know, maybe they're just not on Instagram, maybe they're on Facebook, because people be using Facebook more than Instagram out here. But anyways, I ended up going to Atlanta and like, I just feel like I shouldn't have to do all that just to get my hair done. So today I'm going to a stylist that is in the area and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm super nervous, but I think at this point in my journey, I'm like happy to experiment, like breaking free from the shackles of only doing wash and goes, like it's hair please do something exciting with your hair because you can cut it off, it can grow back. It's not that serious. I'm praying that everything goes smooth and goes well and it's a really good experience for me, but if it's not, you live and you learn. So I went to the Artisan Hair Company in Clinton, Mississippi, and I booked the Olaplex Silk Press. The first thing my stylist did is apply the Olaplex number no. zero primer all throughout my hair. So she just gently worked it through and detangled it before she went ahead and washed my hair. She used the Olaplex shampoo, conditioner, and perfecter before I went ahead and sat under the steamer for a while. After rinsing, it was time to blow my hair out, and she was super gentle with this process and didn't use an excessive amount of heat, which I really appreciated.
after blow drying, I went ahead and sat under the dryer for a little bit just to ensure my scalp was completely dry. And honestly, I was a little bit surprised by how damp your scalp can still be after the blow drying process. Now we're getting into the straightening process. She went around my hair in sections and hot combed my roots just to get them super flat. Then she pressed my hair with a flat iron and she did two passes for each section. After pressing my hair, it was time for a trim, and my ends definitely look crazy, but it's mainly due to the fact that I usually get it cut curl by curl, which means that when it's pressed out, it's super uneven. I explained to my stylist that I usually wear my hair curly so she didn't give me a super blunt cut because that would completely change the shape of my hair when it's curly. She just maintained my layers and trimmed off any breakage. Finally, I asked her to curl my hair just because I feel like my hair looks a little better with some body in it versus trying to be pinned straight. And also I feel like my hair combats humidity a little better when it's in a curled state.
All right, y'all, so I just got home. My hair has never looked this good straight, like ever in my entire life. Not when I do it by myself, not when I got it done as a kid, like never, ever, 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 ever has my hair looked this good straight. I went to Lily at the Artisan and Company Salon in Clinton, Mississippi. And if you are in the Jackson area, I highly, highly recommend her. Um, I got an Olaplex silk press. So they use like all Olaplex products and this was like $90. Um, I got a trim, like my hair is so fluffy and light. It has movement, it has body. I asked her to curl it for me just because I feel like my hair has the tendency to like frizz up when it's pinned straight, but when it has a curl in it, it like lasts a little longer. I am so happy with how my hair looks. It feels healthy, it looks healthy. Like it's just, I'm so happy. But I was telling her that my hair goals um, have kind of shifted for the next year. I really wanna focus on just like growing my hair out and seeing how long I can grow it out. And what I have to do to achieve that is different than what I've been doing. Like I used to be so focused on shape and having that big round fro. And to do that, like you have to continuously cut layers, like you have to shape your hair continuously to get that look. And I don't know, I just, don't feel like having the same look anymore and I want to see like how much my hair can grow which means I have to be really on top of like getting it trimmed um and I'm prepared to do that because like my hair feels amazing it looks amazing like I can't recommend her enough like she did such a great job and she listened to everything that I said I'm just so happy with this so now the main thing that we have to do is maintain it and I didn't know if I was gonna love how it looked with the curls in it, but honestly, these curls are really, really cute. And I know like over the week or two that I have this silk press, they're probably gonna drop, but I have to pin curl it if I wanna maintain the curls. So I am going to attempt to pin curl my hair, which I haven't done overnight before. Okay, I've done this half. I've never done this before, so this is not a tutorial. I want this to be comfortable to sleep in and I've seen like people use like those big clips to do this. I'm just rolling hair sections around my finger, pressing it flat to my head. Oops, sorry. And pinning it down with these large clips, which are the clips that I use. Well, not clips, they're pins. These large pins that I use to wrap my silk press. I don't know if I've done a video on here doing that. I have one on my TikTok. But when I wrap my hair for it to be flat and not maintain the curls, I use these pins. So we're gonna hope that this works. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other side.
right, I've got all my pin curls done. Hopefully this is good enough. If it's not, tomorrow I'll like tweak how I do it. But I'm gonna put this satin scarf over everything. my best to make it super secure. I also have this little bonnet that I'm going to put on top. I just feel like if I put the bonnet that I usually wear over my curls, like it can potentially slide off, which I don't want. And I feel like this is very tight and like covers my edges and everything in a way that I put my shower cap and stuff on like humidity is not getting to this so I think this is really secure and I will check in with you guys tomorrow to do a full takedown and reveal and all that type of shit so stay tuned all right y'all I just finished my makeup so I'm about to take my hair down and hopefully these pink curls turned out good y'all i just got dressed and i'm about to head out to go take some pictures with my new hair and a cute little fit so we'll catch y'all in the next vlog